Former Australian Prime Minister Tony Abbott slammed woke politics as he welcomed the arrival of GB News as an alternative to mainstream media channels. Britain is not a racist country and is one of the freest and fairest in the world, former Australian Prime Minister Tony Abbott has claimed. Speaking to GB News on the channel's inaugural breakfast broadcast, Mr Abbott called on Britons to have a bit of pride in your country. Andrew Neal's GB News channel launched last night for the first time. GB News has pitched itself as a patriotic, pro-Britain channel. Chairman Andrew Neal said in his opening monologue on the channel, we won't forget what the B stands for in our title. Tony Abbott agreed with this sentiment in his appearance on GB News, he condemned criticism of the UK as abominable self-hatred, that's what it is, he added, have a bit of pride in your country. Have a bit of respect in your institutions. Britain is not a racist country. There may be one or two racist individuals, Britain is not a racist country. Other than Australia, I can't think of a freer or fairer country than the United Kingdom, respect the achievement, look at the Boris Johnson cabinet. Probably one of the most multicultural cabinets in the world. This is a sign that you can come to Britain from anywhere and do extremely well. So leave the portrait of the Queen in the common room, leave the statue of Cecil Rhodes at Oriel College, and get back to making Britain better rather than running the place down. Mr Abbott was referring to two incidents at Oxford University that have stirred up controversy in recent weeks. Graduate students at Magdalen College voted to remove a portrait of the Queen from the common room, while over 150 academics have boycotted Oriel College in protest of its controversial statue of Cecil Rhodes. GB News has presented itself as a counterweight to so-called culture war issues such as these. Andrew Neal said, while we will never hold back from covering our country's many flaws and problems, we will not come at every story with the conviction that Britain is always at fault, usually to blame when things go wrong, generally useless. We won't forget what the B stands for in our title.